it's that time again for Adobe Illustrator updates. Start off with the intertwine tool. So you might have a monogram or a logo or an intertwining object. I feel like this tool is the best for those situations. I'm going to make sure I select my object, go to object, go down to intertwine and click make. Now what this allows you to do is basically overlap objects without like cutting it because before we had to actually manually do it, but now we can actually just easily cut things out. So you can see the little lasso um, icon pops up on my mouse. And all I've got to do is click and drag over these two objects, as you can see. And what it's going to do, it's going to bring the back object in front of the other line. So the pink will come over the orange. So you can see if I miss a section, it's not going to overlap properly. So I make sure that when you do it, you do it properly on the first go. So I'm going to go back. So I'm going to click edit and then we'll just go back just like this. So make sure you do it properly so you don't have to go back and forth. And now you can see we've got this cool logo overlapping. And if you go to your layers panel, you can see now it says an intertwine. But before it would just have the paths, but now it makes it an intertwine tool. And we can select this, go back to object, click intertwine. And if you don't want it to have that effect, you click release and it will just go back to normal paths. As you can see here, it will just go back to the normal paths and it will go back to normal. Now, the next cool thing is that they've introduced quick actions. So I'm going to select this typography. And so if you go to help and click tutorials, you will get this pop up. If I scroll down, you can see it's got quick actions here and now I can use any of these text effects. So if I click retro text, it will automatically change my text as you can see there. Or if I want to go back, I'll control Z and click maybe neon glow and it'll automatically apply that effect. And then all I can do is actually click appearance panel on the, on the menu here. And now if I go to my appearance panel, I can actually edit these effects as you can see here. The next cool thing is Illustrator and InDesign actually work when you copy text now. So if I want to copy some text as well, so for example, let's say I want to copy this text, I'll copy and paste it into Illustrator. And now you can see it's actually all editable. So before text and things would get messed up and objects wouldn't work properly. So now I can actually edit all this text as you can see, you know, I can type and change the color and whatever. So, and so another cool thing is that they've improved the performance when it comes to linked images or a lot of PNG images in your design. So if you're working on a carousel and you have lots of images, now it moves faster. So you can see I've got all these images. If I click and drag and move them, you can see it's a lot faster there. And as you can see, I can move it. It's a lot smoother and faster and there's no really jitter or lag and it just makes it a lot more smoother. Now lastly, they do have updates to the compatibility with the 3D. So if I go scroll down, you go to quick actions, I can see export 3D object. And if I click on that and go into my asset selection, you can see now they've got a lot of different variations. So they've got GLTF and you know a few of these other ones, right? And so this allows you to use this image or 3D inside um, of Substance 3D. So if you use Substance, then it's going to be beneficial for you because you can add those 3D assets. So those are all the updates for Adobe Illustrator. If you want to see the updates for Photoshop, then you can check this video on the screen. Just click that and you can improve your skills in Photoshop.